All right, today we are going to cover Audacity. So, I have it already downloaded on the desktop, as you should as well. We're going to come over here to the shortcut, double click, open her up, and it gives us here kind of things we want to do. I'm just going to hit OK. Takes me right into Audacity. All right, let's get right on to it. We are going to record audio narration, however you, whatever you want to call it. So right up here is your main toolbar. All these other things are things you can play with, the sound of the mic, the sound of the speakers, blah, blah, blah. But for our purposes, we mostly want to worry about these guys right up here. So red circle, record, basically standard. We're going to go ahead and once I hit this, it's going to start recording immediately. So we're just going to get ready. We're just going to do a test. So I'm going to go ahead and click. Testing, 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 testing. And stop. There we go. That's my vocal. We can play it back and listen just by hitting the play. Testing, 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 testing. Alright, so I like that. That's great. It's called Audio Track right over here. That's how we can keep track of it. Next, we're going to import music so you are able to have music with your narration. Um, Audacity allows you to do, to do both or either. So now that I've created my audio, I'm going to go up here to File, uh, Import, Here's my audio, my labels, my MIDI, my raw data. I'm going to do audio. And it pulls up all the stuff that I want. I know that the song I want is under Cass's stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and open that. And there it is, pink, right there. That's what I want. Great. So I'm going to import that, give it a second. It's Aerosmith. They're my favorite band ever. And while we're waiting, remaining time, perfect. Okay, because this song is so much longer, it has scrunched up all of my vocals over here. And you can just kind of see, you know, this is the song compared to the vocal. Well, let's say I don't want the whole song because I just want it to go with my vocal. Right here is your little cursor, and it looks like a cursor in a Word doc. Acts the same way. I can highlight you know, however much I want. Let's say I want it to match my vocal right on. There we go. It's going to give me a line saying this is where your vocal ends. Well, good. That's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and delete. Now I just have that song. Just kidding. I didn't want to do that. Let's, um, you can do Command Z on an Apple or Control Z on a PC and it puts it all back for you. No problem. No harm done. All right, so I have my audio, I have my song. Um, now let's listen to it, see what it does. I'm going to click the zero. Testing, 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 testing. And now it's just music. Testing, 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 testing. All right, there we go. So you have created audio, you have created, you've input music. Now we need to save it so you could add it to a photo story or, you know, however you wanted to do it. So let's go up here to save. And I want to save my project. You are saving an Audacity project file .aup. That's important. That .aup is telling you what format it's saved in. Certain programs only allow certain formats, so you want to make sure you always know what format you're saving it in. Um, that's, and this is telling you right now, saving a project creates a file that only Audacity can open. To save an audio file for another program, use one of the file export commands. All right, good. Well, that's good to know. Now I know that it's only going to work in Audacity. What I've just done only works in Audacity. So we're going to call it an Audacity Tester. And I'm going to put only Audacity so that I know where it is. Save it under my stuff. That's fine. I know where to find that. So it's telling us we need to export. So let's export it. And what do we want? It? A WAV, that's from Microsoft. That usually is a good thing to save for. So I'm going to take off the only Audacity and just call it my Audacity Tester. 
This drop down arrow gives us all the other things we can save it as. Um, MP3, that's probably a good one to use too. Um, this is the default. I usually do the default unless instructions specify otherwise because it's usually going to give you a format that works. This one works in Microsoft, um, which is what Photo Story is, so that'll probably be a good one to do. I'm going to go ahead and just do that. There's also, you know, MP3, MP4. We also, there's um, a tool, Zamzar, you may or may not have heard about this. Um, that converts files as well. So say you save it as the wrong thing, you could open up your thing again in Audacity and resave it as something else, or you could just transfer it in Zamzar, whichever you want, have more time for. I'm going to go back into Cass's stuff, because that's what I want. I'm going to save it, and it gives me everything that I need. Perfect, that's all I want. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Your tracks will be mixed down to two stereo channels in the exporting file. Great. It's just letting me know exactly what it's doing so that when it messes up somewhere or whatever, it has at least warned me of all the things that could potentially go wrong. Okay, I'm kind of done here for a minute. I want to see if my thing works, so I'm going to minimize my Audacity program. I'm going to go into Cass's stuff. That's where we saved it. Here it is, my Audacity tester. Open it up and see what it does where it's going to open, all that good stuff. There we go, it's in my eye. Testing, 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 testing. Perfect, so there we go. It's in there, it's done. I'm done. We did it. That sounds good to me. So, that is your audio music you can do the same thing all of these up here like let's say I want to repeat I can go up to generate effect maybe I want to add an echo I want to delay it two seconds that's fine it can give me a preview of what is it gonna look like what is it gonna sound like and hit OK and there, it changed things alternately. This is just where your spirit of discovery has to go in and be your own creativeness. So I highly suggest you just go in and play. You can't mess anything up. There's nothing wrong. So go in and play. Figure out what all of these do, your effects, all the stuff that you want to do.